We are at the gym. Today is Tuesday, so it is chest and biceps day. My last video was chest and biceps, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with a good chest video, right? Especially when the pump is gonna be crazy, so I'm feeling really good. Had a check-in this morning. I, got, I showed you guys uh, my physique update, kind of like how I sent my check-in video to Kyle or check-in pictures. Um, I had a free meal yesterday, which was some sushi, so it was a little bit more watery than usual this morning, which is fine. The pump today, it's gonna be pretty crazy because of it. I think I had like six or seven rolls or something like that. So yeah, we're 10 weeks and four days out. I still haven't heard back from Kyle or gotten my diet, updated diet plan, so we've just kind of been on the same food as of today so far, which I'm chilling with. I don't think it'll change that much because I'm getting leaner and staying around roughly the same body weight, which is pretty freaking sick. So yeah, we're gonna head in and hit this workout. It's gonna be pretty epic, and I'll catch up with you guys after. good yummy we are back home after chest and biceps today it was a decent workout um, felt pretty strong I believe my incline pressing was a PR it was 110 for two sets of eight with assistance but I believe I could only get those for five last week so that's good always good so, weighed in this morning at 186.2. 
uh, which is 0.2 pounds up from last week, and I'm a little bit leaner, so that's always good to hear as well. We are enjoying our post-workout meal right now. It's just 300 grams of rice, six ounces of chicken, 95 grams of pineapple, one English muffin that I already ate. Standard post-workout meal hasn't changed. Feeling pretty good, to be honest. You know, just chugging along 10 weeks out. I wanted to quickly chat with you guys before the end of this video because I didn't want to draw it on any longer, but <clears throat> this is how we looked 10 weeks out last year. I'll do a slideshow of some of my check-in photos that I sent to Kyle. Uh, we were 164 pounds, spot on, I think 164 even, in these pictures. Here are today's check-in photos, weighing in at, like I said, 186.2 pounds, so we're 22.2 pounds heavier at the same amount of weeks out and leaner. So, yeah. Pretty freaking, pretty freaking dangerous. And the cool thing about it is that I'm eating way, way, way more food, like a lot more food. To be honest, I'm still force feeding some of my meals. Majority of my meals, I'm still, still force feeding. Ten weeks out, so yeah, we're in a pretty freaking good spot. Not gonna lie, uh, I'm pretty happy with how I'm looking. Just kind of like slowly chipping away, trying to grow into this prep, which is the goal. Uh, bring up some of my weak points, being arms and back and rear delts, whatnot. It's kind of the, the benefit of taking your off season seriously, you know? A lot of people just think growing time is like, um, one moment, peace. Like I was saying, um, it's the benefit of taking your off season seriously. A lot of people think that growing time just is like kind of an excuse to get fat, which is completely not the case because it kind of hinders your gains. Like obviously you do have to push the weight a little bit more, but Unnecessary fat gain is pretty much in the title. It's unnecessary. Like you can stay at a relatively low body fat percentage, not super low, just enough where you can grow. And it makes it much easier come prep time or cut time or whatever your goals are. And you don't have to like do these super drastic calorie drops and super drastic cardio increases and just kind of torture yourself because you maintain a well-rounded physique pretty much year round. So you can really work around it and manipulate things to your advantage rather than having to do these huge fucking drops where you just suffer for so long. And that's kind of how I feel right now. Like I'm still pushing cardio six times a week, 25 minutes with my steps in eating a fucking shit ton of food Especially on my high days, I'm pretty sure I'm still over 4,000 calories, you know, 10 weeks out. So, like, yeah, we're chilling. Um, take your off-season seriously. Don't fucking, don't get fat. <coughs> don't do the mistake that I did. I recomped and fixed my shit after a rebound, so eat healthy and do your off-season cardio because it will pay dividends. Yeah, just wanted to touch late on that really fast. I gotta eat this real quick, shower, and then I'm going to a friend's house because... We're watching some basketball game that I don't know anything about. I'm not really into sports. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Oh, that didn't really work. Yeah.